Princess Louise, Duchess of Argyle. Princess Louise Caroline Alberta was born on the 18th of March, 1848, at Buckingham Palace in London, England, the fourth daughter and sixth child of Queen Victoria of the United Kingdom and Prince Albert of Saxe Coburg and Gotha. She was christened on the 13th of May, 1848, at the private chapel in Buckingham Palace. Louise was educated at home with her siblings and developed a strong interest in the arts. In 1863, the Queen permitted Louise to enroll at the National Art Training School to pursue her interests, and she became a very skilled painter and sculptress. Later in life, she sculpted a statue of her mother, Queen Victoria, which stands today on the grounds of Kensington Palace. Several foreign princes were put forward as possible husbands for Louise, including the future King Frederick VIII of Denmark, Prince Albert of Prussia, and the Prince of Orange. However, none of these were agreeable to Queen Victoria, and Louise herself wanted nothing to do with marriage to a prince. Instead, she found herself falling in love with John Campbell, Marquess of Lorne, an heir to the Dukedom of Argyle. Queen Victoria found this to be a wonderful match, infusing new blood into the royal family. Others, including the Prince of Wales, found it appalling that the princess should marry below her class. Despite these misgivings, the couple became engaged on the 3rd of October, 1870. They married at St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle in Windsor, England on the 21st of March, 1871, and honeymooned at Claremont House, near the home of Louise's brother, Prince Leopold, Duke of Albany. In 1878, Norn, as he was known, was appointed Governor General of Canada, and he and Louise took up residence at Rydal Hall in Ottawa. Initially getting a cool welcome, the couple soon integrated themselves with the Canadian people, traveling throughout the country and socializing with people from all classes and backgrounds. In 1880, she was severely injured in a sleigh accident, although this was significantly downplayed in both the Canadian and British press. Therefore, her subsequent lack of public appearances gave the impression that she was simply shrinking her duties. In fact, her health was significantly affected and she spent much time recuperating. Her husband remained Governor General until 1883, at which he point they again took up residence in Britain. Queen Victoria gave them apartments in Kensington Palace, which will be Louise's home for the rest of her life. Princess Louise is often credited with helping to develop the tourist industry of the British colony of Bermuda. In order to take advantage of the warmer climate, Princess Louise spent the winter of 1883 in Bermuda. This quickly led to a trend of wealthier Americans and Canadians escaping to the tropical climate for the winter. In 1885, a grand hotel was built on Hamilton Harbor to accommodate the influx of wealthy visitors. It was duly named the Princess Hotel in honor of Louise's visit two years earlier. Years later, in 1905, the Canadian province of Alberta was named in her honor. Initially to be named Louise, the princess requested that her third name, Alberta, be used so as to also honor her late father. Lake Louise and Mount Alberta were also named for the princess. Let's rewind back, friends. In 1900, her father-in-law passed away and her husband became the ninth Duke of Argyle. This meant that the couple now had several prominent homes at their disposal, including Enveray Castle, to see the Dukes of Argyle as chief of the clan Campbell. On the 22nd of January, 1901, Louise's mother, Queen Victoria, died at Osborne House in the presence of most of her children, including Louise. Despite the Queen's wishes that Osborne should remain a royal residence, the new King, Edward VII, gifted the house to the nation. Princess Louise was given a small cottage on the estate, Kent House, which she later gave to her niece, Victoria of Hessen by Rhine, later Marchioness of Milford Haven. Louise was widowed in 1914, where her husband passed away after a lengthy illness. He had been ill for several years, suffering from what is now believed to have been Alzheimer's disease. During these years, Louise devoted herself to caring for her husband. Despite the sometimes distant relationship between the two, she was truly devastated at the loss of her beloved husband. She would go on to survive him by more than 25 years. During this time, she remained an active member of the royal family, taking part in official events and maintaining contact with many of her patronages and charities. By the mid-1930s, her health was declining. She made her last public appearance at an exhibition in 1937. However, she was unable to attend the coronation of her great-nephew, King George VI, that May. 
She spent her last remaining years at Kensington Palace, living in apartments next door to her sister Beatrice. She was very close to her great nephew, the Duke of Kent, and his wife, Princess Maria of Greece. Princess Louise, Duchess of Argyle, died at Kensington Palace in London, England on the 3rd of December, 1939, at the age of 91. Following a private funeral on the 12th of December, 1939, her cremated remains were initially placed in the Royal Crypt at St. George's Chapel, Windsor. A few months later, in March 1940, her ashes were moved to the Royal Burial Ground at Frogmore in Windsor, England. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment down below, subscribe, hit the bell notification buttons so you get notified when I post a new video. Anyways guys, have an amazing day and thank you so much for watching.